All right, y'all. So the presidential election has ended. Trump is president. Crypto is pumping and booming. And we're looking at the effects that this has had on the OMI token. Now, if you're shocked by this, it, you, you probably shouldn't be. Like the 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 election should have no impact on the OMI token whatsoever because this is a utility token tied to VV. Um, now, the utility is not that impressive. The community is not that big. So you're not gonna see any crazy movement in the price of the OMI token. The only thing that can actually make the OMI token move is VV delivering and adding utilities that's going to push up that token. Um, that, that's really the only thing. Or this grand narrative that makes people think that the OMI token is such a great investment, which I don't know how people could really argue that after looking at this token's performance, because the first thing people are gonna do is go to the charts, look at the token supply, look at the sentiment everywhere, and why would anyone look at this and look at the sentiment everywhere and say, oh, this is gonna be crazy. It's going to go up one day because it has Disney and this. They're gonna look into why it has Disney and all these things and everyone else is not excited about it. So yeah, it's not really going, I don't think that the whole narrative angle that the content creators and some of these whales are selling the community is that big of a deal as people are making it out to be. And I think that is really just some, it's really just something that they're selling and pushing on people to keep them in the project and keep them holding their bag so these guys can get to their exit eventually. Um, the fact of the matter is, the only thing that's going to save this OMI token and actually push it forward and push it to where it needs to be is going to be utility, some forms of utility and being able to do something with this token, something that VV creates, announces and drops that is going to get people actually excited to hold the OMI token. Right now, there is no reason to hold the OMI token. When you And I know that the thing that people like to do is they like to compare it to, oh, there's no reason to hold that token. There's no reason to hold that token. The communities are strong. The communities are strong in certain tokens and certain tokens can be can create narratives or or get fake results by, by you know, working in networks. A lot of these projects that's pumping that you see that you'll probably use as a reference, it started by these cabals that really just has groups of people heavily manipulating the, the project. That That's what it is. The OMI token probably should not be moved or operated in that way, but you could do it. You could spend money with certain channels and certain influencers and they would probably pump up the token. But that's not really the best way to go about the token if you have real if you have real plans of doing something valuable with the token, you should probably just wait and be patient. Now, the question that I have concerning the project is do they still have plans to actually move this token, do something with it, and actually make it a valuable thing to hold? That that's really what it's all gonna come down to. And if they have plans, what are those plans? Because look, as we can see. Hasn't been looking too hot here. Um, it, it dropped down to 0002. That is crazy. It dropped down to 0002. I'll, I'll take a shot in the dark here and say somebody said, oh, it's dropped below. This is definitely a buy zone. Let me buy a lot here. People, somebody put out a tweet or something like that. You'll never see it at these levels again. People started putting in more money and then it dropped back down again. And now it's back up again, but it's probably going to go back down because the fact of the matter is there is no reason to be holding the OMI token. It does nothing. We have no plans of what it's going to do. Um, and the utility and things like that it has right now is just completely insignificant compared to the amount of the, the size of the supply of this token. It's just, there's nothing. The, if, essentially, there's no utility, there's nothing. Um, when you put it in, in the grand scheme of things, there, there's just nothing. There's nothing going for the OMI token right now. So people who want to see a profit and turn a profit from the OMI token need to come up with ideas and start pitching them to VV, come up with questions and start asking, what is the plan? How are we going to do it? Because at one point in time, the um, and I'm going to make a different video really breaking this down, but at one point in time, a lot of what made us believe in the OMI token, a lot of the reasons that the $10 OMI token price prediction came and things like that, it was because the utility that they said would have, it made sense for that. It made sense if in a perfect world, every single thing that they said came to pass, if every single thing that they said they kept their word with it, it, it was easily have been able to be a $10 token. But the problem is the majority of what they said been swept under the rug, it hasn't happened, it might not happen because of regulations and things like that. So. 
granted, they were very ignorant coming into the development of the token and coming into the VV project. Now they're a little bit wiser, so I think that it's time for some updates when it comes down to the token, the direction, and what's going to be happening moving forward. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of explain why there hasn't been movement with the token, why there shouldn't be movement with the token, and what the OMI token is really waiting for if it's ever going to do anything at all. I'm not convinced that it will ever do anything at all, but I know a lot of people do care about the OMI token, and a lot of people want it to, to go somewhere. And I believe that this is this is what's what's going to be needed for it to actually go somewhere is going to need utility people are like to argue that this the narrative is strong enough and all of this stuff i don't i'm not a person who believes in the narrative i'm not i'm not a person who believes in that anymore because the narratives when it comes to nfts and this whole thing that vv has going on those nar the, the time for narratives has has gone and went crypto and this 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 um this industry it progresses People are not going to get tricked again. People have already been tricked. People already know not to trust in NFTs. Not just like they're going to want people to deliver. They're going to want these projects to start delivering something. And VV's IP, if there was content creators, if there was all content creators pushing a narrative that pushing the same narrative, maybe. But the problem, the problem that VV is facing right now is you have content creators like me. I'll be honest. A content creator like me, you have in multiple videos from me and other content creators who have given their true and honest opinions of their experiences with this project. So when people actually look for look for the downsides of investing in the project, they're going to see all of our thoughts, all of our opinions, all of the things that we've experienced and been through. And then they're going to find the proof of it as well, because there's no one who sits around on this project just making things up. Well, that might be. I don't know. I don't. I'm not looking that deep. I don't look at the hater futter side of of Vivi. People tend to put me on that side now because I'm just honest. But I don't. I don't really look at stuff like that. Like somebody saying something randomly negative about Vivi would have never crossed my path up until recently, where these people actually follow me and support me now because I see some of the same things that they've been saying. The ones who are legitimate. Now, the ones who's just been crazy from the start and just wanted a reason to hate and didn't give, like me, I pride myself on giving VV time to build, giving VV time to speak, giving VV time to, you know, express things. They were expressing themselves like crazy when all the money was coming in, when, when everything was pumping back when the OMI token was up, they were expressing themselves like crazy, promising the metaverse and, and promising all this stuff. Like they expressed themselves like crazy. Then they took years off of expressing themselves and everybody wanted to give them a pass. I gave them some time. I gave them a couple years to see if they would get it together. They didn't get it together. That's when I had to start criticizing and giving my thoughts and giving my opinions of why this may not be the project everyone thinks that it could have been. So that being said, I don't know where this project is going to go. I don't know where this token is going to go, but it makes sense that it hasn't moved too much based on the, the news of the um, president. It, it's not supposed to move with something like that. And if you still don't understand the OMI token, maybe this could help break it down a little bit more for you. Um, but yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Are you still even holding the token? Do you still even care? Let me know y'all thoughts. A every video I seem to get these same haters who who come, oh, why are you still talking about it? Because people ask me to. Why are you still commenting on it? If you know what I'm going to say, you know where I stand and you know the reality of this project, why why, why stay here and watch somebody you know is going to be honest? You just stick in fairy tale land where you can create your own delusional network of people lying in your cabals where y'all group together and try to bring down people. But the problem is, the stupidity of the cabals within the VV community and the Ecomi and the Omi community, the, the, the problem is the company itself is working against you. So when you try to come and attack people like me, and then they once again do something stupid or once again lie, it works against the narrative that we're wrong. So it's like, that's the hard part. The problem is when you're just truthful, it's going to stand out because you can't just sit here and say something when the company is showing and everything the company is doing aligns with the things that's coming out of my mouth. And the, everything that the company is doing does not align with the things that's coming out of yours. You can try to spin stuff and twist stuff, but it, you're only gonna be able to twist so much until you look like an idiot. So that being said, let me know what you all think. 
Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.